attention for just a moment. If we can have all your attention, please, for just a moment. I'd like to introduce you to a treasure of Mountain View. Would you please welcome the owner and founder of the Milk Pail, Steve Rasmus. Hello, everybody. My my uh, my throat decided to go out of business. <clears throat> it, has, it has been a very long run for the milk pail. And many of you here today have been with us from the very beginning for 45 years. And several of you that I've been talking to for the last hour uh, confirm that totally. And it's really remarkable. I'm so glad to see the kind of turnout that we have. We have little children who walk through the store that are fourth generation milk pailers, thanks to the people who first started shopping here 45 years ago. About 10 years ago, uh, we had a new employee and on the first Saturday that he worked, he gave me a call. It was a very busy Saturday. He just couldn't stop giggling on the telephone. He said to me, Steve, you don't own the milk pail. Your customers do. And, and that has been true in many ways for many years. The milk pail is quirky. Last year, Jimmy Sagona from Sagona's Market and I were having an early dinner together. When it was time to leave, I said to Jimmy that our businesses are both institutions. And Jimmy laughed and he said, no way, the milk pill is a cult. <laughs> Did you folks know that you were members of the cult of milk pail? In the beginning, there was a tiny little drive through dairy that had gone bankrupt. 1974, some kid with long hair and a big smile <laughs> told his dad that maybe with a little luck, low prices and unique products, this little business could be resurrected. Just last week, a retired cheese salesman who I knew 40 years ago called me to share stories. He reminded me that in 1975, I purchased in one, per, in one truckload 10,000 pounds of Monterey Jack and mild cheddar. And, and he, he thought to himself, no way in hell can that little milk pail sell that much cheese. 45 years later, we have sold well over 2 million pounds of cheese from all over the world. I mentioned this because it was only because of our community support and loyal customers that we were able to grow into a well-loved local business. This week, I was thinking about our first month in business. It occurred to me that 25 years after that first month, our business, 25 years later, uh, for that one month, was 50 times what it was the first month that we opened our doors. So again, it's this community that embraced what we did and continues to embrace what, we do, what we've done. The character of the store was made from a brew, including hardworking staff, a mixture of loyal Europeans, Midwesterners, West Coast liberals, and Pacific Rim immigrants and everyone else in between. We were also supported by several dedicated vendors who imported unique products from around the world and would bring them quickly to the milk pail because our customers were known to like very exciting foods. Customers themselves were also active with food ideas. 
by bringing us things they discovered from places like Paris, Israel, New York, as well as the rural farmstead cheesemakers in Vermont and Humboldt County in California. We would find those mystery products and gradually the milk pail was known as a food seekers, food mecca. Today with the pending closure of the milk pail, we are seeing signs already of a growing number of people who are exhibiting withdrawal pains because they don't know where they will be able to find some of their favorite foods. Now pay attention, everybody. We hope to create a web page that will share with our customers the stores that will be carrying those products that until recently were uniquely only our own. One of my favorite quotes is from Hamlet. It goes something like this. Through indirection, find direction out. The milk pail has been seeking our own direction for 45 years. We have found it through inspiration from our customers, from our staff, from our wish to be meaningful in a world increasingly of large corporations. It is my hope that the Milk Pail family and the Milk Pail community feel grateful and proud that together we created a well-loved business that has had a very long run, sometimes against all odds. Thank you. Hey, as much as Steve has given this community, what do you say the community gives him back a little bit? Would you please join me? For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny, which nobody can deny, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Thank you, Steve. Thanks to all of you folks. I, I, would, uh, I was thinking I would ask questions from the audience, but I think that would be a bad idea. <laughs> so, thank you, everybody. You gave it a good run, Steve.